swirl ramp removal. I wanted to do a, just a real short video that will show you that you're not trying to recreate the world here, but when you're looking at the swirl ramp on these LS1 heads, or LS heads in general, let me back it up a little bit, it's kind of fuzzy, but that swirl ramp, you don't want to cut down into that port any deeper than the other side. Let's see if this shows you. This is just the rough cut that I've done in process where I'm lowering that uh, swirl ramp to be equal to the other side of the floor of the, or the port. Like you see the factory port on the right hand side, you don't want to go much deeper than that side of the port when you're removing your swirl ramp. And I'll look, I'll back up a little bit here, but here's this head just in, pro in process, I just wanted to show you and that's all I can cut with the current burr I'm using because then it gets into um, gets into touching stuff I don't want to touch but if you look you basically just want to mimic the depth of that other side and then you'll see where it comes up to behind what I call behind the guide boss there's like a little flat area you do not dig down in that area a great deal because there is water passage behind there and if you start going crazy and digging too deep behind on the sides and behind that guide boss you'll poke a hole clean into water so but just to give you a comparison this is your factory swir uh, swirl ramp on those LS heads compared to one that's been and this is only partially cut down because I, like I said the size burr I'm using now I can't go much more than that without hitting stuff I don't I, I don't want to hit but I promised that I would start trying to show some in process videos of how I uh, work these heads but if you'll just look I'm just bringing that swirl ramp out and bringing it down basically creating a port that would have been the exact port the factory should have or would have made if they weren't putting that swirl ramp in there and then doing my shaping on my guide boss um, I don't know if my sh phone can show it effectively but if you look below the, the guide boss you can see the little tail and they've done a really good job because what they've done is put an airplane like tail at the base of that guide boss that actually angles towards the center of the opening of the port on the intake side and forces that air to uh, go around that guide boss now I have seen several schools of thought on whether they should leave I was trying to see if that would show it a little bit better, but I don't think it does. But some people remove the guide boss tail altogether. I believe that unless you're going for a large cubic inch build, the guide tail is not hurting anything. You never, you do not knife edge it because in flow dynamics, there's all kinds of mathematical explanations. But basically, in, in the nutshell a uh, sharp edge causes turbulence whereas a airplane wing smooth um, divider is it somehow increases the velocity and the way the air moves through the port so you don't want to just cut that thing down to a real sharp edge you want to keep a, a, something similar to what the factory has in there of that kind of rounded, I, I keep calling it, referring to an airplane wing shape where they don't have a real sharp edge cutting into the airflow path. They basically just nudge the air and get it to go where they need it to go without causing unneeded or unwanted turbulence. But anyway, I just wanted to do a real quick video as I was working these heads, just kind of showing the process of removing that swirl ramp. And then, like I said, this is just a one step in the process with one burr 
and uh, a lot more to come once I go to a smite like eh, probably a 3 8 burr where I can really get in there and do some do some shaping to that guide boss that that half inch uh, burr just I can't get down in there because it's going to end up hitting something so anyway 241 heads in, prog in process hopefully this makes sense to you guys and something that you can look for when you look at ported heads or wanting to make changes and how to do it and be safe thanks for watching